Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I'm talking another Sega CD game here. And this is probably one of the most sought of the Sega CD line. Um, it's actually, what do we got here? It's from 1993. Um, this is a very important one for me, for obvious reasons you've probably seen in the thumbnail. Let's start because if we go past here, this is Final Fight on the Mega CD or Sega CD. Um, now, what's interesting, this was the game that really kind of, first of all, it was a real killer app if you have a Sega CD because it has Poison and Roxy in it in a way that is actually close to the original arcade version. It's not the way that they are on the Super NES version or anything like that. So I want to play it because I'm a big Poison fan. I also want to see, is this playable uh, because... The problem with Final Fight in most versions is that it can't actually... I'm just going to go into one of the menus here. Um, you can't actually play this very well in single-player mode, at least not whenever you're doing the um, arcade original. And I've got this on the Game Boy Advance, which is actually tweaked so that a single-player can get pretty far through the game. Can I actually get all that far if I play it? on the Sega CD. So I want to give this a whirl. Uh, let's try it out and start a game. Here we go. And I guess that's simulating how long it would take to load. I always play Cody, so let's go with him again. Uh, interesting difference with the Sega CD. You've actually got proper music in the background because the CD was able to hold a heck of a lot more audio files. So. Let's fire up Cody here and give this a whirl. Single player final fight. Should be interesting. Oh, man. Oh, the graphics take a bit of a crunchy hit. But I guess that's normal for the Sega CD. Alright, so. Uh, which is my punch? Okay. Alright. You know, the graphics are pretty good. The color palette takes a little something, but uh, it looks pretty good. And I think, didn't they also, didn't Capcom, when they released this on Super Super NES, I know they got rid of a lot of the alcohol references, because in the arcade game, Cody and them can pick up uh, booze of some description and uh, other types of treasures. You still got your food on the floor. But I'd be very interested to see... Ooh. Take that, you know. Oh, and of course, Cody can pick up a knife. <laughs> That's why I always played Cody. Oh, okay, diamond. No booze yet. Let's go down to the subway. Or I guess this is the underground, not the subway. Subway is later on. This is actually pretty good, and the sound is really nice. I like it. Ooh. Oh! street level now in the arcade original and I talked about this in my poison video I need some food here mmm food off the floor yum um, in the arcade original Roxy shows up before poison uh, poison for whatever reason got all the kind of love of the fan base and stuff but it was actually Roxy to show up first and I believe she should be, if accurate to the arcade machine, she should be after I first knock out uh, Sodom, who in this version is called Thrasher. Interesting. We've already got some. Uh, we've already got some censorship going on. Okay. Now he should go off to the side. No, oh, I guess not. Go off to the side. There he goes. Okay, now Roxy should show up, not poison. 
This should be Roxy. It's Roxy. Interesting. Okay, so it is arcade accurate. Very good. Glad to see. Now, what I'm not glad to see, and probably those of you who have seen, looked at the thumbnail will know what I'm talking about. Um, for whatever reason, when this game came out on uh, Sega, C Sega CD, as I say, a little bit of censorship. He's, he's, Okay, there we go. He's Thrasher now. But in addition, they actually gave Roxy and Poison, as you're about to see, these like bike shorts. And that looks kind of weird. I guess it was a way to um, maybe make people not quite so squeamish that uh, we have these sort of sexed up characters. Like, look at that. They got these bike shorts on. There's the Poison. There she is. Love it. Love it. I will say, the challenge level is about on par with the arcade issue. Sorry, Poison. Uh, is that me out of my first life? Oh, she got me. It looks really good though. I mean, for a home port. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up, should I? For a home port. I mean, the color palette takes a bit of a hit, and I believe that's a. I believe that's a Genesis issue that well, it really couldn't. Not much could have been done about that. But. Come on. Come on. So I'm dead now. Okay, so you get four credits. All right, good way to do it. And I guess you can probably change that in the options here. Yep, into that one. Onto the subway train. Man, I am really surprised. This follows a lot of the layout and look of the uh, arcade original. And clearly, it is a game that should be played two player. Like it's, it's just. But having put the arcade machine, it's that type of title. You really need to do this as, an, as a two-player game, which is fine. Uh, and, you know, back in the day, I'm sure a lot of you had a buddy sitting with you on the couch and you played this together, and that's great. But I did not have any such luck, and so for me, playing Final Fight in a way that is enjoyable is a little tricky to do. I mean, basically... Roxy, get there. We go. Uh, being able to play this in a way that is uh, doable for one player. Honestly, only that Game Boy Advance version is the one that's been uh, balanced properly, and it has Roxy and Poison in their original mini skirt outlook outfits, not this uh, biker short thing. It's not, it's not terrible. I can live with it. I just, I don't know. I, I thought it was weird when I first heard that they got her in biker shorts. I was like, what? Okay. But, you know, censorship being what it is, I suppose. Ah, oh, that's it. Not me again. Is it, uh, was it Sodom or was it Damned was the first bounce that I was supposed to fight? I'm going to say it was Sodom, but now I'm just thinking maybe it was the damned in the original arcade. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh body slam. Got me with the zangy. Okay. There you go. Got you, man. There we go. Okay. Move forward. No, the challenge is definitely there. It's, uh, I can't imagine that this would be at all playable all the way through for a single person. I've seen people online who know how to do this. Maybe the thing. I've seen people online. Damn it. 
Um, I've seen people online who can get through the arcade original uh, with a single credit or without, you know, without, without losing and having to throw lots more credits into it. I am not such a player. I have to play this and use all the cheats and all the continues I possibly can. Especially that one where you take on the um, guy in the wrestling ring who's got the kind of ninja outfit. He's a real nasty. And again, this game was sort of designed to separate you from your quarters, so it makes sense, but... Let's get that other knife. Get the other knife! Ha! Um, yeah, it's... Oh. Okay, there's another credit. It's definitely as tough as the arcade. Alright. Uh, yeah, again, designed to separate you from your money, so of course, totally makes sense. But unfortunately, I want to be able to play this game single player. Well, I, it's not that I want to play it single player, it's just that I don't really have a lot of people who want to play Final Fight with me. My wife, for example, she could not care less. But again, she probably doesn't appreciate my love of poison, so that might be another factor. Anyway, let's uh, let's see just how long I can go. And we've seen we've seen the girls in their biker shorts, which I think looks ridiculous. I've played enough now of the game that I really I have much confidence that this is the arcade level of challenge. And I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's sharp. It's, uh, the music is really nice. I like having that uh, extra bit of bandwidth for being able to uh, memory, for being able to play these um, bits of music. That's really, really good. However, I do not like the bike shorts. I'm not a fan. Let's have a look at the Okay, I've got two lives left. Let's see how far we can get here. Nice big sprites. I mean, I'm sure there are people who are bigger experts on the arcade original who would say, oh no, no, it, the sprites should be larger than this, but I think they look fine. Like that, to me, looks a lot like the arcade. Oh, wait, I forgot they did that. This looks a lot like the arcade as far as the um, level of detail and the size of the guys. Ooh, there's some food. Get the food. Yep. The only other modern way I have found to play Final Fight in an enjoyable way was they did Final Fight Final Impact, I want to say, on the PS3, where you could actually play uh, online. Like you were playing, I was playing Cody, and people would come across and join my game and choose Hagger or Guy, and we would proceed and play the entire arcade original. That was an awesome, awesome rendition of Final Fight. I'd be curious to see if people are still playing it today. I doubt it, but uh, this is a very cool home version. Oh no, okay, this is going to be the end of my game, my playthrough. Here comes that guy. Now in this version, he's called Katana. I think maybe he's damned in the original. Should look that up. And I noticed there have been no uh, things of alcohol to pick up, so definitely this one has all the sensitive issues that uh, we mentioned before. Clearly, I mean, that's what the bike shorts problem is as well. So we have some, some censorship, but you know what? I'll take it because I much prefer Poison than Roxy being in here to Billy and Sid. That was a ridiculous workout. Okay, well, that's it. Game over. All right, well, there you go. There's Final Fight um, CD from, for the uh, Sega CD. Really, really like it. I uh, don't like Poison being in Biker Shorts, but whatever. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.